What's up, YouTube? This is your boy, Tata Collector, and guess what time it is? It's time to go game hunting. You ready? Let's go. All right, folks, back at Lending Bear. Now, the reason I'm always hitting up this place is because they're always putting out new games, so you never know what you're gonna find. All right, let's go in and check it out. Okay folks, so just left Lending Bear and I came across a rather uncommon to rare PlayStation Portable game, Street Supremacy. Picked it up for $1.80. It's complete. Also, I was able to haggle down that $5 price on that Nintendo GameCube controller down to $3.50. So I went ahead and picked that up. Alright, headed to Goodwill, on to the next. Alright, here at Goodwill. And the parking lot looks a little crowded, so might not be able to find anything, but we'll check it out. Alright folks, so Goodwill today was a bust, but that's alright, because on to the next. Alright folks, let's go into this pawn shop see what we can find. All right, we're here at Winfield Farms, Vintage and Now, Antiques, Vintage, Collectibles, and more. I have found games in here before, but I never picked them up because she would not take a debit card. Well, today I've got cash, so let's see what we can find.
Alright folks, so not a bad little haul there at uh, Winfield Farms. Ended up scoring pretty daggone good. We got Frogger on the PlayStation 1 Complete. This was a really nice find. The Warriors on the Xbox. Missing the manual, but for a dollar, picked it up anyway. Then we got Destroy All Humans on the Xbox for a dollar and is complete. Then we got Red Faction 2 on the PlayStation 2 complete. Cold Winter on the PlayStation 2 missing the manual. Medal of Honor Vanguard on the PlayStation 2 complete. Pick that up for a dollar. Uh, let's see. Call of Duty. Call of Duty 2, big red one, on the PlayStation 2 complete for a dollar. Outlaw Golf 2. There we go. Outlaw Golf 2 on the PlayStation 2. Complete for $2. And this is a PlayStation 2 exclusive. NHRA Drag Racing Countdown to the Championship. It was complete for $2. And then I saw in the glass case that she had Pokemon Puzzle Challenge on the Game Boy Color and a Suction Cup Super Mario 3 figurine. That's pretty neat there. Alright folks, on to the next. There was uh, new games put out at Lending Bear. So let's go in and check it out. Okay, so just left Lending Bear and um, picked up Dirt Showdown complete on the PS3 for $2. Uh, these Dirt games still hold their value. Um, I know Dirt 4 right now on the PS4 is still holding its value at around $30. So anytime you see a Dirt game, be sure to pick it up if you can get it cheap. Um, that game goes for about $14, $15. Uh, also $14 or $15 that I picked up for $2 is Tony Hawk Pro Skater 5. And anytime I can come across an only on Xbox original title in fantastic condition for a dollar, you can best believe I'm going to pick it up. So I picked up Crimson Skies. Um, and... It still had the booklet. It still had the uh, still had the two month free Xbox Live membership card in there. So, all right, folks, that's it. On to the next. Okay, good morning, YouTube. It is 7:25 in the morning. The yard sale starts at 8 a.m. I'm about to head out. Let's go see what we can find. All right, folks, hitting up the yard sale. Let's see what we can find. Okay, so uh, they literally just sold all of their video games just a few minutes before I rolled up. And this, folks, is why you always show up early. Never on time. Always early. On to the next. Okay, folks, so uh, I was out freestyling and came upon another yard sale on Facebook Marketplace. Headed that way now, so let's go check it out. All right, here's the next yard sale. Did you have any old video games? I don't. Okay. All right, thank you. Uh, no, we'll probably have another yard sale. We have to get all his stuff together. So. <laughs> All right. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Well, that yard sale was a bust too. 
on to the next. All right, well, didn't have any luck at uh, private yard sales. This is a place set up out on the highway where it's kind of like a little mini flea market. Let's see what they got today. Y'all have any old video games? Uh, I don't think we have Hold any. that thought, yes. Okay. Yes, yes. Alright. I've got to find it. Okay. <laughs> I'll wait. All right, so just picked up a loose Wii disc. It's in pretty decent shape. Uh, another selfie stick and a Sega RF cable for a dollar fifty, fifty cents each. Back at Goodwill, let's go in and see what we can find today. Alright folks, we are back home. We have got a ton of stuff to go over and uh, I got a package in today. Um, now this is from Limited Run Games. If you haven't heard anything about Limited Run Games, um, they bring physical copies of digital games to PlayStation 4 and PS Vita. Um, they are very limited hence the name, Limited Run, they usually limit their copies to 2,000 or less worldwide. So when they announce that a game is going, um, going on sale, you have to log into their website. You have to um, be ready to add that game to your cart as quickly as possible and get it paid for it as quickly as possible. So I got a package in today from them. And uh, we're going to open it up. Now, I'm expecting two packages from them, so I'm not quite sure which one this is yet. <laughs> yes! Sweet. Okay. This is Odd World Munch's Odyssey brought to the PS Vita. Now, they had two label variants of this. They had the original Xbox version, and then they had this version. This version was supposed to be the harder of the two to come by. Um, and actually, the label itself, the uh, cover art, is reversible. So, I actually got, um, sealed in package, the harder of the two to come by. Um, so, I'm never opening it. Um, that just probably added to the value tremendously. Now, these games right here are already going for around $80 on eBay. Um, the Collector's Edition is going for well more than that. 
you're looking at anywhere between, I think, maybe around 120 all the way up to 150 if you can get your hands on one. The uh, limited editions, um, there were even fewer made of those. So if you were able to get your hands on one of those, um, by all means, snatch one up if you can. All right, so I got, uh, yeah, Oddworld Munch's Odyssey brought to the PS Vita. And it's the rarer uh, label variant. I'm thinking it's the rarer label variant. They said they were uh, making two, and they could not guarantee which copy you would get. Um, this one was uh, supposed to be the harder of the two to get. So fantastic. That's awesome. All right, now, on to this week's pickups. We have got a lot to go over. I'm not even sure where to begin. Um, all right, these are going to be in no particular order at all. And I'm pretty sure I got everything here. I don't think I've left anything out. All right, so where do I want to begin? All right, you saw towards the end of the video, um, I picked up a couple of PSP games from Goodwill. And those PSP games for $1.99 each were Monster Hunter, Monster Hunter Freedom 2, disc only, and Assassin's Creed Bloodlines, disc only. That's the first time I've seen PSP games at the at my local Goodwill. Then we had um, a yard sale slash mini flea market area, and I was able to pick up um, Red Eye UMD movie for the PSP. X Men Origins Wolverine complete PSP. And the case for SmackDown vs. Raw 2010 and the manual for SmackDown vs. Raw 2010. But inside was Madden 11. And I picked those up for $2 each. And SmackDown vs. Raw 2010 on the Wii for $0.50. Cents. And it was just a loose disc. Then I uh, also had the selfie stick. Now, the last one I picked up, which was the Star Wars lightsaber, it did not work. So I've just been using it um, to prop my, cam uh, my phone up on and extend it out, prop it up, and kind of use it as a tripod. But now this one works. Um, and I picked it up for 50 cents. So that's fantastic. All right, then went to a pawn shop and dug around through a whole bin full of PS3 games. And in the very bottom of the, of the bin was one of the first games to get a remaster on the PlayStation 3, uh, which was Prince of Persia Trilogy. And it is complete. At Lending Bear, um, I picked up Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 5 and Dirt Showdown, both of those on the PlayStation 3, and Crimson Skies, only on Xbox. Also earlier in the week at Lending Bear, I picked up Street Supremacy on the PSP. Now, this is an uncommon slash rare game. Um, it's not very easy to come by, but they just had a copy sitting there, and it was complete. It goes for about 15 to 20 bucks on eBay. I picked it up for $1.80, and then this had a $5 press, price tag on it. And I was able to haggle her down to $3.50. But we've got a first party Nintendo GameCube controller. 
in pretty good condition. It does need a little bit of cleaning, as you can see there, but that's all right. I will give some alcohol to it and clean this right up. Um, a pickup that you did not see on camera, also at that little highway flea market slash yard sale uh, place earlier in the week. Um, I was on my way to work and I left my uh, camera in the vehicle and I totally didn't get this on film, but I picked up both of these for a dollar each and this was a pretty awesome score. Um, I've got two sealed original Xbox official magazine with demo discs. Um, I've got the Mech Assault 2 magazine with Ninja Gaiden demo disc and Ghost Recon 2 with Rally Sport 2 Challenge or Rally Sport Challenge 2 demo disc. And these are factory sealed, never been opened. So <laughs> that was a pretty awesome score there for a dollar each. And then the biggest um, haul that I had was at a thrift store uh, the next town over. Went in and she had some original Nintendo games there and a couple of, uh, I believe, Super Nintendo games there. Maybe a couple of N64. Um, but she wanted pretty much what they were worth for those cartridges. So I went to the other room and in there she has some PlayStation 2, Xbox, um, original PlayStation 1 uh, games. And um, this is what I picked up there. I got Frogger on PS1. Complete. <clears throat> PlayStation 2 exclusive NHRA Drag Racing Countdown to the Championship. Complete. Outlaw Golf 2 on the PS2. Complete. Call of Duty 2 Big Red One on PS2. Complete. Medal of Honor Vanguard on the PS2, complete. Red Faction 2 on the PS2, complete. Cold Winter on the PS2. This was actually in a Blockbuster case um, with no manual. But right here inside of this sleeve, I noticed... It is still had the Blockbuster rental <laughs> sleeve on it, or inside of it. So that was pretty neat. Blockbuster really takes me back. Got some very nostalgic moments with Blockbuster. But I uh, picked up Cold Winter. Um, and then for the Xbox, for a dollar, I got Destroy All Humans. It was complete. And also for a dollar on Xbox, The Warriors... Missing the manual. So Cold Winter and the Warriors were the only two missing the manual. Also for $2, I got Super Mario Brothers 3 figurine suction cup. And for $3, picked up Pokemon Puzzle Challenge on the Game Boy Color. So there you have it, folks. That's it. That's all I got for you this week. My name is Tata Collector. I got links down in the description to my eBay, my Facebook, my Instagram, Twitter, all that good stuff. If you need to contact me, go ahead and hit me up on Instagram or Facebook. If you've enjoyed the content, go ahead and leave a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, I don't know what you're waiting for. Go ahead and hit that red button. And while you're at it, hit that little bell icon next to it. When you hit that bell icon, it'll notify you every single time I upload new content. Folks, once again, I'm Tata Collector, and have a good one.